the one thing that will really help in relationships, if you're being the best version of yourself that you can be, mm. you are naturally an attractant and you will eventually attract the right person that you are to be with. And welcome back to Five Ideas. I'm your host, Joey Nagel, alongside life and leadership coach, Rich Clay. You cannot, I cannot, we cannot have successful lives unless we experience success in all five of these categories. Number one, relationships. Number two, health. Number three, money. Number four, faith. Number five, peak performance, which is you becoming the best version of you. And to sum it all up, To sum up the five ideas, I like to ask myself one simple question. What's the point of money if I'm not healthy enough to enjoy it, (laughs) and if I have no one to share it with, and if in a few short years I die and nothing happens afterwards? That sums it all up. That's why you have to have success in all five of these categories to have true success in life, and this is the method, the five ideas method that Rich has created and coaches all of his clients through, and that is why we've created this show, and today we're focused specifically on the area of relationships, on the category of relationships, and this is a huge, massive category that guess what, everyone has, and today we're actually talking even more drilled down on singleness and loneliness, and I think Rich has a story to kind of open it up for us of a time when he was possibly both single and lonely. Yeah. Everybody's been single, right? At yeah. one time or another, <laughs> we've all been single. And I Some definitely- Some people, it doesn't seem like they're ever single, but you know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And by the way, great job on introing that. That is exactly what we're all about. In the area of relationships, man, they are extremely important. And it's kind of funny because just because you're single doesn't necessarily mean you're lonely. So hmm. we're going to separate those. And here's another thing I've experienced over many, many years of coaching is oftentimes we're single and wish we were not single. And then there are those that are (laughs) in relationship and they are couples and they wish they weren't couples. I knew exactly where you're going. So, but anyways, uh, yeah, there was a time when I was single. I went to college for four years, went home for two years more, didn't find anybody, then, were you looking kind of when you were in college? Like, yeah, yeah. You were open to being oh, in a yeah, relationship? Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted to find the right person to settle down with. And and a lot of my classmates were were getting into relationships and moving on with their significant other. Didn't happen to me. Um, but one thing I, I, I will tell you this is that there's a lot of emotions that you go through. You can You can look at yourself. Here's the one that I hear all the time. And I felt this. I was like, is there something wrong with me, right? (laughs) Yeah. I mean, that's a human thing. Is there something wrong wrong with with me? me Yeah, what's wrong with me? wants me, yeah. Exactly. And here's another emotion I think that we have is that I'm in the wrong area. Like, Mm, there's no one in this area. Like geographic? Geographical Mm -hmm. area. You know, I need to move. And and sometimes that's true. Yep. But for me, uh, singleness was something I thought, hey, is this ever going to end? But I also uh, realized that when you are living, like Joey, like you said, when you're living the best version of yourself, the one thing that will really help in relationships, if you're being the best version of yourself that you can be, Mm. you are naturally an attractant and you will eventually attract the right person that you are to be with. So like sometimes focusing on too much on that uh, that other person because i think you can get in in the ditch of like i'm focusing so much on finding a girlfriend a boyfriend a spouse to help me fill that void of my singleness and loneliness but you're saying basically you don't have to rely on that to start working on yourself and becoming the best version of yourself. And in the process of doing that, the byproduct is people are just attracted to you because you're in a great state. Because it's a carryover. Hmm. So once you do find that partner and you begin Hmm. to experience life with a significant other, there are going to be challenges in the relationship. And as I've coached people through relational struggles, I always tell them the the best opportunity you have for a significant uh, impacting relationship is if you are healthy yourself. So if you're like 
let's just say a 23 year old single guy and you want to start becoming, you know, somebody that somebody's attracted to and you do things like maybe you really drill down into your career. Maybe you become the best at what you do. You go to the gym during the day and then maybe a, you know, martial arts class like jujitsu or something in the evenings and you start really getting yourself. I'm, I'm talking about a very specific person. Uh, <laughs> and he's shaking his head at me right now like, I know exactly who you're talking about. You're going to get us in trouble with the main man in the show. But, yeah, so like you start getting yourself into, uh, into I'm confident with myself. Mm-hmm. And I'm taking care of my own body. I'm taking care of my own finances. I'm mm-hmm. taking care of my own relationships. I'm getting coaching. Mm-hmm. Uh, from Rich Clay, I, I'm going through everything I need to go through to start becoming the best version of myself. Then mm-hmm. people might start to see that and become attracted mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. E- even not not even just uh, possible spouses, mm-hmm. but like friends. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I want to hang around people who are sure. you know comfortable and fun and sure. you know energized and full of yeah. life and all that stuff because it's going to spill yeah. out onto them and they're yeah. going to want the same thing. One of the reasons why people are lonely, not the only reason, but one of the reasons why people are lonely is because they're looking for someone else to validate them. And this is really important. If you don't like being with you, why would you think anybody else would wants to be with you? Exactly. And you so you have to work at yourself. You have to work at being who you are. Um, so you, I go back to answer that question. What would a single person do? I would say just live every day to the fullest. Do everything that you love to do. Create habits. Create habits that other people would be attracted to. Precisely. Do you, you know, what, what's another person? Oh, I'm attracted to somebody that's a hard worker. Yeah. Uh, an achiever. I'm attracted to somebody who uh, communicates well, who deals with the stresses of life well. Become that person. Yep. And you'll attract that person. And 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 not only will you attract that person, but that'll spill over because oftentimes people will want to become like that too because it, it is what we're seeking. We we all want to be confident. We all want to love ourselves. Um and it pours over. So it's like you get it for you, but then the bonus is that byproduct of like, hey, like what are you what are you doing to uh take care of your health? I, yeah. I really like how, you know, I really like how much energy you seem to have all the time and you look great and all this yeah. stuff. And, you know, what are you doing to do that? Hey, I see that you uh I see that you just bought a new house and it looks like it's a it's a great place to live. I'd really like to achieve that. People are gonna, I think, start asking and you can, you don't have to reservoir all that information for yourself you can let that yeah. flow through and pass on to other people as yeah. well so now now you're not only just having it for yourself but you're sewing it into other people yeah can i give five practical suggestions Please. for somebody who may be uh dealing with lo- loneliness and, and it's it's a real issue it is is one would be get involved in a community of like interests <laughs> so if health and fitness, let's stick with the five ideas. Yeah. If health and fitness is one of your things, join a gym. Join join a gym where you're going to find people of like interests. Love um, it. Some people uh, love book clubs. Um, yeah. Other people, you know, there's there's community of believers, churches, great community of believers. 100%. Where you're going to have people that are like-minded in faith and spirituality. Absolutely. So whatever areas of interest, I'm not saying that that's all to it, but that's a good place to start. So I would I would suggest trying to find different things that you enjoy doing that you're not specifically looking for somebody, but you're looking you're looking to get your life moving. You're looking you're not just sitting around waiting. You're you're being active, you're developing you, you're becoming the best version of you, and it might be in an arena where there's somebody else that has the same interest as you. I love it. So the five those were five different kind of community areas. Yes. where you could get involved. One was uh faith and spirituality, yes. church, yep. uh health and fitness, mm-hmm. gym, mm-hmm. um or club and then book club. Which yeah, is peak, peak performance. performance. Absolutely. Exactly. Uh, five. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure how you, you know, uh, 
uh, how you'd find the Millionaires Club. <laughs> you know, but no, some, they're entrepreneur clubs it, exactly. all over. Yeah. 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 Leadership organizations. Yep. Wealth and, yeah. Wealth yeah. and finance. Yeah. So true. So, I mean, there are definitely, there are a ton, there's like mastermind groups. There's, yes. uh, and there's, there's communities just on Facebook that you can become members of. Uh, we're a member of a uh, full-time filmmaker, which is a bunch of entrepreneurs that are filmmakers creating content, digital content, and they give wealth of information and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, yeah. There's, there's so many different uh, ways that you can get put yourself out there mm-hmm. and get connected in a community um, and experience that relational aspect. And let me zip back real quick to singleness. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just enjoy where you're at because it won't be there. You won't be there forever. You really won't, unless it's your choice, and that's yeah. that's great. But you won't be there forever, so enjoy it. And because this is what I know, there's seasons of life. And there's things you can do in certain seasons that you can't in others. Correct. So if, if you're single, there's you're going to have a little bit more freedom, a little bit more opportunity. Once you're in a relationship, now you got to start thinking of another person and their needs and their time obliga- obligation. So every season of life is special. Enjoy it. Nothing lasts forever. So enjoy whatever season you're in. So the key takeaways are singleness and loneliness are not the same thing. Correct. At all. You can be single and not be lonely, and you can be lonely and not be single. Yes. So sometimes that that problem that you might be feeling isn't even the true problem. And some key practical ways that you can actually eliminate some of that, some of that loneliness is by you investing in you and also seeking out groups that have similar interests, which is phenomenal. You got gyms, book clubs, entrepreneurship clubs, churches. Uh, et cetera. There's even single, like yes. single groups, yep. like to get together with other singles that may be like interested. And that might be a place where you find a spouse, might be a place where you find a boyfriend, girlfriend, et cetera. Um, and then the other thing is enjoy the process of being single because you're not, if you're looking to be in a relationship, then you're not always going to be single. And there's things that you can do while you're single that you can't when you're not and vice versa. And neither is a bad thing. Being right. single is not bad and being and a relationship is not bad, but there are there are trade-offs in every decision you make. So enjoy each stage to its max potential. And with that, we thank you so much for joining Rich and I on five ideas to learn more about us, to get a book, to listen to more episodes. You can just keep listening here on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, wherever you're listening and or watching. And you can check out our website at fiveideas.co. And if you want to schedule a free coaching consultation, with Rich Clay himself, you can do that by going over to coachrichclay.com. All this is linked in the description of all these episodes on whatever platform you're listening. Again, thank you so much for listening to this episode, and we have plenty more like it, so just keep on and listen to the next one. We'll catch you in maybe just a minute if you're playing the next one. Uh, Thanks again for joining. We'll see you on the next episode of Five Ideas. Five Ideas.